explain why um, the, uh, the OAuth connector in Bubble is generally isn't going to be very useful to you and why you need this plugin. So here is uh, a setup, a standard setup of OAuth 4.0, and it works fine. So if you put all that in and you do the normal things you'd do to uh, initialize OAuth, this will let a user log in. And um, you just copy these exactly, it'll work, and that's great. But what that means is because you're using Bubble's OAuth user agent flow, what it means is that the credentials, the, the auth token, is stored on the user who signed in. So, and you, you, it's not visible to you, it's, uh, it's a feature of Bubble um, on, the, on the fields, on the, on the user will be the auth token. And in the background, Bubble will uh, do the refresh token process. That's great, but what it means is only that user who logged in to, who did the OAuth sign-in to zero, only that user will have access to that token, which is really not terribly useful because what you want is you want the app, not, not just that user to have you know, access to zero, you want the application to have access to zero. So what the plugin does is it uh, implements the OAuth login uh, and then uh, what you, as it implements the OAuth login, uh, you can get the access token plus you can get the refresh token and we store those in, we store those in our bubble app and then we have a, a bubble uh, recursing workflow which manages the refresh process. So because of that, what we have is stored in the bubble database an access token because we have that access token, we're able to use that access token in the API connector. So we'll close that one down. So this example zero is self-managed tokens. What we can do is now we can pass the access token that we've got in our bubble app database uh, in order to make the API call. So we can use the API connector, which is the vanilla bubble API connector, we can manage it all ourselves, uh, implement what we want, uh, implement how we want, and uh, use the plugin in order to manage the tokens, to, to get the tokens, and then use the bubble app to do the refresh process. So the point is that you basically stay in control of your access to zero because you're self manage you, you get to do vanilla bubble API connector. Uh, and the only thing you're dependent on is using the plugin to get the t authenticate and get the tokens and then build around that uh, bubble up processes and pages so that the refresh process works. So to, in, like, in summary, this OAuth works and OAuth works, works with zero off the, uh, uh, as you'd expect, but the problem with OAuth with bubble is that it the token is only available to the user who authenticated with OAuth. And we don't want that. What we want is we want the application to be able to authenticate and so that so that the application stores its access to the, the zero access token and the bubble app manages the refresh process, which is great. Uh, um, and that way any user of your bubble app is able to uh, hit the API calls to grab the whatever REST API calls you want to implement in Xero with the API connector.